I'm glad to see you here. We could definitely use your help. I've got the Legion at Nelson breathing down my neck and not enough men or supplies to get this camp into fighting shape so we can strike back. I need someone to talk to a few of the officers and help them resolve some of the problems around here. If I can get this place in order, then I can focus our efforts on taking back Nelson from the Legion. And the more that gets done around here, the more resources I'll be able to put into assaulting Nelson. Good. Let's not waste time then. Our biggest problems right now are supplies and troops, and the Legion is draining us both. Quartermaster Mays has been complaining to me non-stop about the lack of supplies. But unfortunately, we aren't getting a resupply anytime soon. I want you to speak with him and see if there's anything you can do for him. Hey, you're not one of the troopers. Got a second? I have work I need done and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. I have the delightful task of tabulating stockpiles, kill ratios, mission success rates, radiation deaths, and other truly fascinating numbers. I've come across numerous inconsistencies between our numbers and our reports, especially with regards to intercepting hostiles. I'm wondering if our radio security codes have been compromised. I need someone to deliver security code upgrades to each of the ranger stations. This holotape contains the updated security codes for the ranger stations. Show it to the comm officers there. Once the new codes are in use, anyone still using the old codes will just hear static if they're listening in on our frequencies. I handle communications for Camp Forlorn Hope, compiling reports I've received from the rangers at Camp Golf as well as the brass at McCarran. Unofficially, I'm also in charge of radio security. No one else seems to take it as seriously as I do. Bye. Hey. Nice to see a friendly face around here. We don't get many visitors of your esteem. Something I can do for you? So, the Major has you running errands for him. Well, we're short on personnel as well as supplies, so we'll take all the help we can get. The Major let me send out some troops to gather supplies, but unfortunately they never returned. I'm guessing they ran into some trouble on the way. You can help by finding the troops and assisting them in bringing back any supplies they found. I sent them to Helios 1 to see if they had any supplies they could spare. They gotta be somewhere between here and there. I'd try searching the main road or checking with the men at Helios 1 to see if they know anything. Of course it's dangerous. Damn Legion raiding parties have been giving us hell ever since they took over Nelson. Hell, my men probably got ambushed by a raiding party. But we need those supplies and we need them badly. Make it quick. I don't have time to stand around talking all day long. Not good. If we don't get more supplies, we're gonna have to start using dirt for food and sticks and rocks for weapons. Hey. How'd you like to do something for me? I want you to collect NCR dog tags from our fallen troopers. That way I can keep track of who's gone and how to reallocate our supplies. It's easy. Just bring back any NCR dog tags you find and I'll try to make it worth your while. Download complete. 
Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. What is it? Yeah, they were here a while ago. Gave them all I could, which wasn't much. But as many problems as we're having here, I know they've got it worse. I've seen soldiers get assigned there. It's like they got told they were gonna die. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. If you're trying to track them down, we put a GPS marker in the supply crate. You can track it with your Pip-Boy. Good luck. Later.
If you're looking for supplies, I'll make this easy for you. There aren't any. But something tells me you're not here for that. What do you want? I take it my men were dead. It's a high price to pay, but these supplies will save a few lives here. Thanks for finding these. You should check in with the Major. I want to know about this. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear. We're kind of busy around here for social calls, so if you're not here to help out, just stay out of my way. I heard. The extra supplies will help for a short time, but that only solves one of our problems. With all the Legion raids lately, we're running low on troops that can still fight. Some are injured, but even more are dead. I want you to check in with Dr. Richards and see if he needs any help getting our troops back on the front line. I didn't expect to see you here. What can I do for you? With business booming like it is, and considering I'm the only person with medical experience in the camp, I could perhaps use a hand. Do you have any medical experience? Excellent. As you can see, we have a lot of injured troopers here, and I haven't had time to look at all of them yet. Since you have some medical experience, I'd like you to examine them and see what you can do to treat them. Unless it's urgent, you're going to have to wait. If it's gravely important, save me the trouble and empty your pockets now. Excellent job. Where'd you learn to do all that? I don't think I could have done much better myself. Very impressive. As for the men, they'll recover soon and be back on the front lines in no time. Huh, circle of life. I'll send word to Major Palatli about your work here. Once again, you have my sincerest thanks. I've got a lot to do. Make it quick. The Legion has been hitting us pretty hard lately. Lots of casualties, not many people I can save. Men have waged war on each other for countless centuries. Now is no different. People fight and die for what they believe in. I'm just here to patch them up so they can go on their merry way. Do no harm in all that. And I'm doing the best I can considering the poor situation I find myself in. There's barely enough equipment or medicine to handle the number of injuries we have. To make things worse, I think someone might be stealing my supplies. The simple fact that I no longer have as many supplies as I should. I've been careful with them, and I should have more than what remains. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go searching for the missing supplies since I have my hands full with injured soldiers. That would definitely be appreciated. You might want to ask around, and keep an eye out for anything suspicious. I've got a lot to do. Make... Until we meet again. Back already? What do you need? Dr. Richard said you did a good job in there. That's mighty high praise coming from him. 
With the help you've given us, we're doing a little bit better, but we still have the Legion forces at Nelson to deal with. If we can retake Nelson, that will be a huge help to our efforts in this area and give us an advantage at Hoover Dam. Not really, but we don't have much choice. If you help out more around camp, I could spare some additional men for the battle. Reports have the Legion forces at Nelson sizable, but not insurmountable. Come back when you're ready.
I wanted to thank you again for saving my patience. It's nice to have a helping hand around here. So you found out what's happening with the supplies? Is that so? I'll have to talk to Major Palatli about this right away. Until we meet again. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Thanks again for finding those supplies. I've already started putting them to good use. Good work. If you find any more, you know where to find me. Things are still pretty damn rough, but we're keeping it together. Me? Well, I've been doing this shit for far too long and I've been in too many battles to remember. Still, this has got to be one of the worst situations I've been in. Not too much I can do about it, but do my job and do it right. Uh-huh. That red beret's looking good, soldier. I had a first recon guy looking after me. Look who we have here. Always nice to see a friend of the NCR. What can I do for you? I've been placed in charge of morale. It's difficult trying to keep spirits up with the Legion nearby. In fact, there's more hope in wrangling Brahmin with my grandmother's stocking than inspiring these troopers. Ironic, isn't it? But it's understandable. The constant skirmishes take their toll on everyone in the end. I call that an understatement. But I can't complain. I'm not in the field as much as the others. I just stay here most of the day, coming up with activities to occupy the camp. Which reminds me of something I've been meaning to try. A killer competition to boost morale. Interested? Great. Since the camp is threatened by Legion, I propose a hunt. Kill any you encounter and bring me the Legion's ear as proof. You get it? Legion ear? Great. Don't be surprised if you're already last when you return. If I'm right, the troopers will use any excuse to slaughter Legion scum. Can I help you with anything else? Lower than a feral ghoul's IQ. See you later.
Wish I... I still don't have any supplies to spare. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh-huh. That red braze. Dr. Richards told me how you helped him with his missing supplies. It's unfortunate about Private Stone, but at least it's over with now. I can spare a few moments. Make it quick. We're hanging in there. Things wouldn't be so bad if we could actually get some reinforcements or supplies, but we'll just have to survive for now. It's no picnic, I'll tell you that much. My troops are out here every day dying for the NCR, but they've left us out to dry. We have no men or supplies, and we're stretched too thin trying to guard the entire river. If the brass back home could get their heads out of their asses long enough to send support, we could turn this all around. Make it quick. Are you ready? Excellent. Killing the Legion commanders and Nelson will severely cripple the Legion forces and allow us to take back the city. Meet up with Sergeant Cooper just outside Nelson. He will assist you in reclaiming Nelson. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner.
If you're heading out, be careful. There's been lots of Legion raiding parties around. We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. you on our side. We don't have many troops, so we can only attack from one direction. Where should we focus the attack? East it is. Reports also say they might have some NCR hostages. If that's true, we need to do what we can to save them, so stay sharp. Our main target is the Legion leader at Nelson. Intel has the commander as one Dead Sea. I've uploaded his last known location to your pit boy. Let's move out! Mercy killing's a last resort. Glad you recognized we had options.
Another Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. That was some battle. Glad to have you on our side. Couldn't have taken back Nelson without your help. You have my thanks. Back already? What do you need? The initial reports have come back already. Excellent work. This will buy us a lot of breathing room to get back on our feet here. Now we can actually try to strengthen our forces along the river and prepare for the upcoming battle at Hoover Dam. You have my thanks. We owe you a lot. Watch yourself out there.
afraid you're not gonna find much help here. We've got our hands full as it is. I'm not supposed to let civilians just walk around this place. There better be a good reason for you being here. Very well. You can tell Reyes that this station is secure. Well, when there's trouble regular NCR troops can't handle, they send in a ranger. Problem solved. We're also responsible for keeping the borders of the NCR secure, scouting out threats, that sort of thing. I'm in charge of the radio, hence the title comm officer. I'd much rather be out on patrol since nothing much happens around here. Sir? We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Huh. 
people don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. This post isn't someplace a civilian on a bee. 
All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Odd that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week, but they always end up floating downriver with holes in their heads. Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. I'm not really much of a historian. The short version is that the Rangers are the elite of the NCR military. Best fighters in the wasteland. Don't get killed out there. Company.
Looks like we booted the Legion out of Nelson. About damn time. If you're here to sell something, we don't want any. No problem. Hey, do me a favor when you get back to race and tell her that we don't need any more damn ammo. Wouldn't mind more water, though. You think I haven't tried? Every time I do, Camp Golf acknowledges the situation. And soon after that, more ammo. We're not gonna die of thirst anytime soon, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. All right. We keep getting deliveries of ammunition for some reason. I don't mind target practice, but there isn't all that much to shoot at out here. All right. This is the frontier of NCR territory, and we're the first line of defense. You won't find much in the way of civilization east of here. South of here is Camp Guardian, but they've been having radio trouble, so they've been silent for a while now. Careful out there. Hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Hi. Sorry to break in. He sounded truly riveting. I don't want to keep you much longer, but I'd like to make a counter-suggestion. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good.
Oh my. Hello. You're here for the money. I told the Emeritus I was good for it. I just need more time. Well, yeah, I can do that. Um, thanks. I talked to the cashier at Gamora into forwarding me some chips. I was convinced I was due for a hot streak. It uh, didn't go so well. The Emeritus were nice and said they'd give me some time to pay them back. They also said if they had to talk to me about my debt again, they wouldn't be nice the next time. I don't want to talk about it. We were on patrol near the dam when a Legion raiding party jumped us. Didn't even have time to radio it in. I was hit in the head with a machete and knocked out. Didn't kill me, though some nights I wish it had. When I woke up, my nerve was gone. The rest of my squad was crucified, butchered, mutilated. I don't know how they missed me. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they knew they'd broken me. I gambled and drank a lot after that. Got into trouble. But the Rangers gave me a second chance instead of kicking me out. So here I am. Maybe. But thanks for saying it anyway. Watch out for great cons.
Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the Legion, they all died out. I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. Sure. Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. The whole area is irradiated. Mostly ghouls and a handful of rad scorps. I think some geckos moved in not too long ago. They seem to stick mostly to the south end of the camp. Sir?
Can't run from me. I wonder what the hell a civilian is doing here. What, again? Didn't I just change those damn things? All right, fine. Show me the new codes. Ranger military outpost. We're keeping an eye on the Legion activities south of here at Cottonwood Cove. Nothing going on down there at the moment. Just the usual slave trafficking. Poor bastards. Undoubtedly. Rangers are tough nuts to crack, though, and any force small enough to launch a surprise attack isn't going back in one piece. On the other hand, if the Legion goes for a full-scale attack, we'll see them coming, fall back, and wait for reinforcements. So we know what they'll do, and they know what we'll do, so we just sit around and keep an eye on each other. Believe me, I would love orders to take Cottonwood Cove apart and kick the Legion back across the river. But the brass at McCarran doesn't want us to waste resources on something they consider a minor target. So we just get to watch. Yep. Yeah. Welcome back. The station's been silent for quite some time now. I guess this confirms what we've all feared. Thanks for letting me know. I'll switch over all radio broadcasts to the new encrypted channels. This ought to help us stay a step ahead of any spies. Before you go, I've got another job available. Bye. Hey. Word on Station Charlie. What? What happened? God damn it! I just spoke to them the other day. If this is some kind of sick joke, nah, that'd be too far, even for those guys. Listen, this could be trouble for all of us. Whoever did this is still out there, and they might come this way. If you can find out who did this, we can be better prepared to deal with them if they come through here. Look out for yourself.
Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. 